Hey guys, it's Star the Flippin' Hippo, and welcome to Hasty Hippo Hints, where I'm going to teach you tips and tricks of the reselling trade in under five minutes. Let's get to it. Today I'm going to show you guys how to properly comp and price your items to list them on eBay. This video is going to be more for the beginning reseller or those of you that are new to eBay, or it can just be a refresher course to those of you that want to watch. Recently, I have been getting a lot of messages and questions from folks on how I price my items to list them on eBay. So I'm going to quickly show you guys how I comp my items. The way I do this is generally accepted in the reselling community as the quote unquote proper way to comp your items. You're going to start on the eBay homepage and go up here to this large bar at the top, search for anything, and you're going to type in exactly the item that you're about to list and you want to be as specific as possible, this is very important and I'm going to use jeans as an example to explain why this is so important. If you just typed in silver jeans, you're going to get prices all over the place because silver Suki jeans and silver Akedo jeans and silver Francis jeans all sell at different price points. The best example I can think of is the Seven for All Mankind brand of jeans. The Dojo jeans sell for a lot higher of a price than the other jeans from Seven for All Mankind. This can be for many, many reasons. Just whatever reasons, some styles are maybe more desirable, the demand is higher, but you're going to get varying prices based on the style, especially for jeans. So I always say type in as closely and as exactly to the item you have. Don't be so specific that you're looking for the exact item that you have. You don't have to find an extra large red and blue plaid long sleeve roll tab Tommy Hilfiger shirt exactly like yours to price it. You could look for Tommy Hilfiger button front plaid shirts with roll tab sleeves and get close enough. You don't have to find your exact item. I, I want to say that one more time. You don't have to find your exact item. I do know that a lot of people try to find their exact item and that is where they run into trouble because you can't always find your exact item. You just want to find something as close to it as you can. So putting in as many details as you can without looking for the exact item is going to get you good comps. So let's say I had a pair of Silver Suki skinny jeans and if they were boot cut or flare, I would type in Silver Suki boot cut or Silver Suki flare jeans. Then you're going to search for that and then you're going to go down here on the left side over here and you're going to select new or used based on what you have. I'll just choose used because typically I'm flipping used clothing. This is important as well because you guys know that new with tags is going to sell for more than used. So you want to filter out new with tags if you have used and vice versa. And then I go down here and I click this little box right there by buy it now because auctions are all over the place. They can sell for low, they can sell for high. The variable there is just not good. If you want good solid comps, you want to make sure you're doing the buy it now. It gives you a more solid idea for a price than an auction. And then this is the most important step. Go here at the bottom right here and click on sold items. You want to see what these items are actually selling for. You want to see the amount of money buyers are actually willing to spend on your item. You want to see what other sellers are actually getting for the item. Anybody can list anything at any price and it may not be a good idea to um, list something that high or low. I can take a pair of jeans and put them in there for 80 or I can put them in there for two dollars. People can list stuff however they want and that's not going to give you a good idea. When you go into the solds you see exactly how much money the buyers are willing to spend on your item. Then the other important thing is to go up here where it says sort and make sure that you are on ended recently. And again, this is very important because you want to see what your items are going for today and yesterday and last week and the last couple of weeks. You don't want to see what they went for last year or a couple months ago because prices do go down over time with that race to the bottom. And sometimes prices will go up if the demand or the desirability of a particular item increases with the buyers. So you want to make sure you put ended recently. So you're looking at stuff in the last couple of days or the last few weeks. And you, you can also see how often they're selling, which gives you a good gauge of whether um, 
if you're in the store and you're comping, you can see how often they're selling to see if you want to buy it. If you're already at home and you're listing, you already have the item. But if you see that only one sells every six months, you know never to source that item again. Um, but yeah, you just always want to do ended recently. And you can see that these jeans go, we're going to look at the dates before we look at the prices. Just today, one, two have sold. Yesterday, a couple sold. So this is a good item to sell. It has a good sell-through rate. It looks like every single day, just loads and loads of these are selling. Now, to comp your price, you're going to look. This person had them listed for about 20, 22 with shipping, and they accepted a best offer. This person had them up for 36, and they sold for 36. This one went for about 19. Here's 27. Here's uh, about 25. So you just kind of go down and look. This person had them up for 45, and then they were on sale, and they took a best offer. You really don't know how much they went for. So what I would gather from in here, that there are turds who let these jeans go for way too little, and then there are people that know their value. There are people that know their worth. Sometimes if I see a really high price, I kind of look at it to see why. Well, this is a plus size. So maybe these sold for 36 because they're a plus size. So I would probably start these around 35 or 40, but I price really high with best offer. We lower our prices over time and we run sales. You're gonna have to gauge for yourself. Look at the low ones and look at the high ones, look at the mid grade and kind of decide for yourself. Are there just a lot of turds? Are these really worth a lot of money? Are people willing to pay that? And get the price for yourself. Personally, like I said, I like to list on the high end. I like the slow dime. I like to sit on things and get more money if I can. I also have best offer on everything, and Keith and I run sales, and we drop our prices over time if things don't move. But you can gauge for yourself. If you wanted the mid-ground on these, I'd probably say 25 or 30 free ship. And if you charge shipping, then you can do like 18 plus shipping or whatever. You can do the math. Now, if you have a rare size, you want to specifically search for that. Because rare sizes can go for more money. If you have a common size that everybody has and everybody's selling, then this is fine, what I just showed you. But if you have a plus size or a really small size or a really rare size or a hard to find size, you want to type that in your search because you might be able to get more money for it. Let's just check real quick and try plus size on our Silver Suki Skinny Jeans. Oh yeah, look at this. If they're plus size, they're selling for 37, 48 pretty much right here, 30, 37, that one's about 45. And I add the shipping in when I'm giving you guys these prices, in case you're wondering what I'm doing. I'm adding the shipping in, so this one would be 42. So yeah, definitely, if you have plus size silver Suki skinny jeans, you're gonna be able to ask for a lot more money. They are comping a lot higher. Just keep that in mind, especially with men's jeans. If you have a really large waist size or a particularly long inseam, make sure you're typing that in your search because you can ask for more money for the larger sizes and the sizes that are more rare or unique. I hope this helped you guys learn how to comp and price your items on eBay. Let me know what you think down in the comments below. Thank you for joining us today on Hasty Hippo Hints. If you like this video, please do me a favor and smash the like button down below. If you haven't already and you would like to, please subscribe to our channel and help feed a hungry hippo. You can find us on Instagram, Facebook, and Twitter. We are at Flippin' Hippos. Until next time, you guys have a good night.